Thunder are very elusive. They're hard to catch. They're sneaky. They hide. And they will test your patience. In this video, I'm going to quickly summarize some of the most important aspects of flounder fishing, especially during the runs. We're going to discuss conditions, spots, places to fish, channels, passes, lures, rigs, and baits. In this video, I basically condense everything that you're going to need to learn to catch big flounder. So the flounder run is basically all the flounder within the bay system that are moving out for the winter into the open water to spawn. What triggers the flounder run are shorter winter days, colder weather, colder fronts, and dropping pressure. Those are the optimal conditions for flounder run. One of the other important things regarding the flounder run is they move during tidal movements. Incoming or outgoing tide especially are one of the best times to fish for flounder in passes, in channels, in the mouths of open bays, and all that stuff. After you find the optimal conditions for the flounder run, the next question is, where are they going? How are they getting there? The best places to fish are channels and passes in the mouths of bays and the open ocean. In the Galveston area, Texas City Channel, Texas City Dyke, Bolivar Roads, the Ferry Landing, Sea Wolf Park, around the ship. That general area holds a ton of flounder during the flounder run. Once you found a channel that connects the bay to the open ocean, these flounder love the structure. Fish the edges of the channel during incoming tides or outgoing tides. Like I said before, tidal movement is key. The next place that flounder run through are passes. Passes are some of the best places to fish for flounder. It's a fish highway. Everything's going through there. When you're fishing a pass, the current is especially heavy. You might have to use heavier weights, especially if it's a really deep pass with tons of current like San Luis Pass, Inner Bar Channel, the South and North Jetties, Aranzas Pass, etc. Another spot to look for flounder are jetties. Flounder are at the bottom of the jetty. When you're fishing jetties, consider fishing the beach pockets. When you're surf fishing for flounder, fish the guts, especially the wade guts during a high tide. On a low tide, when you're fishing the beach, you would have to fish between the first and second sandbar, which is also known as the first gut. When you're fishing beachfront piers, flat, like I said before, flounder loves structure. Fish near the pylons, especially fish the pylon in the wade gut and in the first gut. Those pylons on the piers hold giant flounder. A lot of the flounder that are on the beach are flounder that have already exited the bay system. The next most important aspect of flounder fishing are rigs. Most effective rig for fishing with lures for flounder is the tandem rig. Here's a picture, here's an example right here. Fishing with bait, the popular rig is the Carolina rig, which it works best when you're fishing with live mullet or shrimp. If you're wanting to learn how to tie a Carolina rig and a tandem rig, give it a YouTube search. There's plenty of good videos out there that'll teach you and give you the correct information and visuals on building these. After you've picked out your rig, the next important aspect, if not the most important aspect of flounder fishing are lures. In my opinion, the gulp is probably the best fishing lure for flounder. Gulp colors vary by water clarity. If you're fishing dirty waters, chartreuse works really well. If you're fishing at night, use darker colored gulps. If you're fishing cleaner waters, white and natural colors work best. The tandem rig that I use usually has a bucktail on the bottom rig and either a nice strike jig on the top or just a single hook. Once you've selected the right color lures, the next important aspect is how to work them. So most beginners actually like to slowly drag the lures on the bottom, which works. It's really easy. And you'll get hit. Eventually, if you hit the flounder or drag the lure on the flounder's body or head, you'll eventually strike it. Let it sit for a couple seconds, 10 to 15 seconds. Then you set the hook. Slow drag. With the slow drag, once you get two thumbs, you chill. Wait 10, 15 seconds, then set the hook. The second method I use is a constant jig. A 
twitch and reel slowly. Like this. This constant retrieve actually allows the fish to be hooked from the jaw rather than a gut hook, which is especially important for responsible and sustainable fishing, especially catching under slot fish. When you're doing the constant jigging, flounder actually attack, and once they attack, you set the hook immediately. Well, that sums up my video. I hope you learned something from this video, and hopefully this video is gonna help you hook up onto some major saddle blanket flounders out there. I want you to catch flounder. This is why I'm making this video. This is exactly everything I do when I go out fishing for flounder. Let me know in the comments how you fish for flounder. I would like to learn too. If there's something that I don't know that's gonna help me catch some bigger flounder, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share it with the world so they know how to catch flounder. Appreciate y'all watching. Deuce.